This is a special edition of WeatherScope, live coverage of Winter Storm 96. Right Good afternoon to you. Thanks so much for joining us here at the Weather Channel Forecast Center. Coming up over the next couple of minutes, we'll look at part two of the blizzard of 96. Actually, a much weaker storm, although many areas have not seen the roadways totally cleared off. So this additional snow and some sleet and freezing rain certainly uh, not helping the situation. We can first take you to New York City in a minute. First of all, our latest uh, current showing our low pressure area off the coast of Delaware and Maryland. We do see this low slowly tracking off to the northeast and should make its way up toward Nova Scotia. Into the interior of Pennsylvania, we are seeing quite a bit of snow, but the changeover now occurring around Philadelphia, also the changeover very close to around New York City. As we take you to New York City, uh, Jill, you're still looking at snow, but I can tell you right now, <laughs> toward JFK, it is raining some, and over to LaGuardia, we have a mix of uh, snow and sleet, so I don't think it's going to be too long before you see the changeover in your area. Well, Rich, it definitely seems like the cold air is hanging tough here in New York City, but uh, big flakes, it continues to accumulate. We probably have an inch or two on the ground, and we may be getting a little bit of sleet mixing in here at this point. It's a little stinging as it hits you. I'll show you some scenes from around the area just from a little bit earlier. The wind's really whipping up here. They can try and get the snow cleared out, and some cars, of course, are still stuck from the, the last go around. They're pretty much buried in snow. I guess one small blessing out of all of this is that the city itself probably will see uh, maybe two or three inches of snow, but it's in the interior where the winter storm warnings are up into uh, Putnam and Orange counties. Yes, actually, uh, Rich, in some of the outlying boroughs and cities, they did cancel school today, even before the snow began. They were, I think, after what they went through the first part of this week and with the problems that continue uh, getting around, they decided to uh, finish the week early and uh, hope things are cleaned up and ready to roll again by Monday. Okay, thanks for that update, Jill. We'll talk to you in about another half an hour. As we look at the latest, once again, a recap of exactly what we have with our current weather scenario. We do see that low pressure area off the Virginia Capes and making its way off the coast of Delaware and into uh, New Jersey. That low pressure area centered right in this vicinity here and again should be tracking off to the northeast to around Nova Scotia. We now have Bill Keneally live in Philadelphia. Bill, what is the uh, latest situation that you see there? Is the freezing rain still coming down? It's a gloppy mess out here, Rich. Thanks a lot. It's rain or freezing rain. Not really sure. Not a whole lot in the way of icicles dangling from our lighting, so I think it may be about 32 degrees here. We are down in the center city area, so we're pretty much level with the Delaware River, and we're not too far above sea level, but north and west, one of our faithful fans, Rhonda from Germantown, tells us there's probably about twice as much snow farther on out. We have about three inches here, so I'd say four to six out in the northern and western suburbs. Let's show you some of the scenes shot earlier today now in the city of Philadelphia. We were at the height of the rich. Bill, I can tell you, actually, it's uh, 33 degrees right now. I'm not sure okay. if that's the temperature is where that you are right now, but it's close to changing over to some rain, so I guess it's going to be time to pack your bags and you'll be heading home. That is correct. Again, I want to thank my crew, our photographer Steve Angel and our producer Lorraine Shamless and our truck operator Al. It's been quite a day here, a wide variety to the weather, but I think we're finally seeing the uh, proverbial light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, thanks so much for that update, okay. Bill, and thanks for sticking it out the past uh, couple of days again. Okay. As we look at the latest radar, where's our storm right now? But again, it is off the coast of the Mid-Atlantic. That's where we see it, the low pressure center somewhere right in through here, and it is taking a northeast track. What we will be looking for as we take a closer vantage point, still seeing some of this sleet around New York City or the changeover to some of the rain, actually some rain down to uh, JFK, but farther to the interior, maybe some sleet and snow. And of course, Jill still seeing some of that uh, snow around New York City on Manhattan Island. That should be changing over. The heaviest of the snow continues across the interior, northern New Jersey into the Lehigh Valley and over to Lancaster. You've seen a nice healthy swath of snow too. So the Susquehanna Valley into lower areas of New York, 
still some snow. It is heading toward Boston and right on up through the Connecticut River Valley. So that is where we are going to start turning our attention away from Philadelphia and Baltimore as the storm gradually winds down. But still something of a storm, especially northern and western suburbs of New York City. And the storm's getting ready to move into Boston within the next few hours. Now back to the studio with the latest on our forecast. Well, first we're going to take a look at the uh, airports, and you noticed earlier Dulles was closed. Now uh, it is open for business, and there are some delays, though, at LaGuardia. have picked up snow. Baltimore, six inches. Some of the snow around Philadelphia changing over to sleet, now freezing rain. In New York City, where we are also starting to see that changeover. We saw some snow in the city, still snowing, but at JFK, we do have rain at LaGuardia, now a combination of some snow and sleet. And where Jill's reporting from Manhattan Island, we are now looking at that combination of snow and sleet. Jill, uh, you were just telling us that you're being pelted by sleet now. Still looks like a few snow flakes still mixing in though. Definitely still some big flakes in here, but you can feel the sleet without a doubt. It is not a fun day to be walking around Manhattan. It's rough out there, and I'm telling you, it's not much better than it was during the blizzard. You're looking back over Central Park West and uh, out towards Central Park itself. Everything's snow covered. Again, we have probably a good couple of inches on the ground. We can uh, show you some scenes shot a little bit earlier as uh, the snow continued to come down. People at airports, and uh, I think the people who maybe are most concerned are the people that have to commute in or the people who are visiting and want to get a flight out in the next 24 hours. It does look like the road conditions uh, are okay. We see uh, some of the trucks and taxis and cars going past. Well, traffic seems to be moving along uh, a little slowly, but uh, the roads right now kind of snow-packed, but uh, not, not terrible just yet, but you can see that uh, behind me we have uh, still have active traffic actually in Manhattan, and actually it's not as backed up as it was yesterday. I think the next batch of snow coming in scared a few people off today, and they decided to stay home. Good idea. Definitely is. Uh, Jill, it looks like that microphone there with that snow on top looks like vanilla ice cream <laughs> cone there with the snowflakes. Uh, I think next time we talk to you, it will be sleeting more than anything. So we'll uh, hopefully get back with you in another 30 minutes for another update. Well, first of all, let's take a look at the latest current conditions, then our satellite photograph and radar. Right now, we do have a low pressure area off the mid-Atlantic coast, and the projection for this low pressure area is to head off to the northeast toward Nova Scotia. Something that's very interesting about the low, notice the isobars. Uh, they're not very closely packed together. That means we are not seeing any of those howling winds behind that area low pressure like we saw with the blizzard. Although we still have a pretty a strong flow coming in from the Atlantic, that is why we are seeing the change over to some rain towards the coast. Our latest satellite photograph showing a little bit of a dry slot of moisture here. Still some light freezing rain into central areas of Maryland over toward the Chesapeake. Farther to the north though for the interior, up back through the Lehigh Valley, we do have an upper air low. That is triggering some continuation of the snow and some very heavy snow in the Susquehanna Valley. In fact, over to Middletown, reports of three inches of snow just the past hour upwards of 30 inches of snow on the ground. The grand total for this storm is six inches. One more closer view of our radar showing some of the rain down toward JFK, some sleet and snow around LaGuardia. And of course, uh, we're looking at 
New York City there with Jill on Manhattan Island. So we're seeing something of a mix in this area, although to the north, up toward Orange County and Putnam County, winter storm warnings are still out for some very heavy snow. Even some snow now working its way up through the Connecticut River Valley, and we are expecting to see the snow make its way to Boston. The way it looks right now is that the snow bay be about two or three hours away. So the worst is over for Philadelphia as the rain is starting to move in now over to Baltimore and Washington, occasional sleet or freezing rain. But New York City, now the changeover begins. We'll keep you updated here at the Weather Channel today as we follow this sequel of our blizzard of 96. Now back to the studio with Janine with the forecast. Well, uh, what I wanted to mention first was that uh, we were going to take a look at the airports, but earlier, you know, uh, Baltimore Airport, was they shouldn't be parked in because of all the snow cover, but uh, we'll zoom you in and we'll show you what's going on in New York City and in Philadelphia. As you notice this yellow on the map around Western Long Island and Manhattan Island, Staten Island, what you're getting now is sleet and freezing rain as that warm air rides in on the waters over that cold air at the surface. A lot of what was snow will change over if it hasn't already, but snow is in the interior of Pennsylvania, southern New York around White Plains, Allentown to Williamsport over to the west, getting plenty of snow. Southern New Jersey now rain, but northern New Jersey around Newark still reporting snow. Well, back to the maps now. We'll show you what we're expecting in terms of snowfall. Through Friday evening, snowy travel from West Virginia on up into Boston and... <laughs> 